really sad day for families across the country uh, and families in Austin uh, with folks working at Twitter. The news is that 50% of the workforce was laid off. Austin Kaplan is a labor attorney in Austin. I know that this does affect um, our economy and families here in, in our community. He says Twitter employees were notified about the layoffs via email. He said Twitter employees work around the country and he's spoken with some of them. It's one of the biggest tech layoffs we've seen, um, you know, it, it, since, since the last recession. They're like anybody else. They have kids, they have expenses, they have mortgages, right? And like people are not necessarily preparing for this. Kaplan says a lawsuit has already been filed against Twitter, not by his firm. So it was filed at midnight for Warren Act, it was filed only for Warren Act and only against Twitter, the company. A Warren Act says in certain cases, a company must give a 60 day notice, but Kaplan does not believe that will stand. What the company actually did uh, was provide uh, a notice period for all the employees to continue working without responsibilities. So all Twitter employees, as I understand it, are going to be permitted to stay, you know, on the books and receiving pay and benefits until January. However, Kaplan says there are still questions about employee severance, and they're looking into possible litigation for other matters against Twitter and Elon Musk. We're looking into gender right, discrimination on the basis of gender, race, age, you know, any of these protected categories in terms of who is in the reduction. There are reports there could be more tech layoffs and a hiring freeze at companies. When it comes to layoffs overall at any company, Kaplan says to know your rights. Get in touch with somebody if your if your rights are in peril or if you're asked to sign a legal document. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KVU News.